This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get a video that I put them out. See what I'm thinking? See I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data released us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, I was doing some DD, a little research. You know the DD they say we never do? We close our eyes and throw darts at the board to decide what stocks to invest in. And guess what I came across? B. Riley has a short interest of 76.51%. I mean, that is absolutely crazy. And, and here's the thing. AMC has a short interest of only 13.63%. And GME has a short interest of reportedly 22.23%. Okay, so B. Riley has triple triple the short interest of what gme has and more than half of gme shares are drs now this is just a theory this is just my analysis of what i'm seeing which company do you think is more shorted amc gme or B. Riley? I believe, in my opinion, that AMC is the most shorted stock in the history of the stock market. All the FTDs verified that. Everything that we see in the market every day, millions and millions of, of shares available to short every single day. But the days to cover keeps going down. This is absolutely crazy. But the fact that B. Riley's short interest is 76%, it tells me, and this is just my opinion, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm telling you that the short interest of AMC is probably over 100%. Because I know they, they haven't shorted five or 10 or 20 times the float of B. Riley and their short interest reported at 76%, actually 76.51%, 76.51%. So I can go out on a limb and telling you, based on this information, based on the amount of counterfeit shares that I've watched being created with AMC, I believe, it, in my opinion, that the short interest of AMC is well over a hundred percent because they are definitely more heavily shorted than B. Riley. The thing is that these bad actors control the data that we see. That short interest that they're reporting doesn't take into account the billions of counterfeit AMC shares that end up in FTDs that end up overseas. And a lot of the shows tell me, oh, the FTDs don't go overseas. Of course they do. If they didn't, FINRA wouldn't have to put out articles that once the, the FTDs are no longer on U.S. soil, they do not have jurisdiction over them. Okay? The only reason FINRA would put out an article like that is because they know the FTDs go overseas. If FINRA didn't know that the FTDs went overseas, they wouldn't be talking about what they had jurisdiction over or what they didn't have jurisdiction over. Okay? I mean, it, it, it just, it's just basic logic. Okay? Basic logic, basic, basic common sense. These bad actors create millions of counterfeit AMC shares every day. And when the FTDs come, they send them to Brazil. They send them to Europe. They send them to Puerto Rico. They send them to the Cayman Islands. And FINRA just act like they never existed because technically they're no longer on U.S. soil and FINRA has no jurisdiction. The bottom line is this. I want you guys to, to give me your opinion. Do you think if B. Riley's short interest is 76.51%, how high is the short interest of AMC and GME? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.